Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. I think it is. Anyway, continuing my Esperan Portuguese wines, I have another one from Quintas dos Morsas. Like I mentioned in last week's video, the Portuguese language can be tricky. Since it's a cousin to Spanish, it's natural to use Spanish as the basis for your pronunciation. And while I have a basic understanding of how to pronounce Portuguese, I'll be relying on Google Translate to give me some reminders. And I might stumble here, here and there. All right, like I've done in the past, I'll show the Portuguese word in the lower third to help you all know what I'm saying. And I may have already started doing it in this video. I mean, there hasn't been, yeah, there's only been like one word I've actually said in Portuguese. So last week I gave you the more detailed history of the winery. The quick version is the winery has been around in some form at least since at least 1714. Sometime in the latter 1700s or later 1700s, the name became Quinta dos Mursas. In 1943 it was purchased by Manuel Pinto de Azevedo. In 2008 the Azevedo family sells the property to Esperam. Now, in addition to the wine I'm reviewing in this episode and the next, well, in, in this episode and the last episode, they also make a port. Since 2016, their vineyards have been certified organic. All right, so here are the stats for this wine. The 2018 Esperam Quinta dos Mursas Minash. The suggested retail price is $24. It's from the Douro. It's a blend of Toriga Nacional, Toriga Franca, Tinta Francisca, and Tinta Rarish. It is composed of schist soil, or the soil is composed of schist. The elevation is between 360 and 985 feet. The oldest vines were planted in 1987 with the newest in 2011. It is a sativa certified integrated production. Sativa is at least one of those, one of the organizations that do organic certifications. I believe this includes wine production and not just grapes for this wine. It's hand harvested, destemmed. It uses traditional foot treading in lagares, with uh, along with a vertical press. It uses native yeast. The ABV is 13%. The total acidity is 5.2 grams per liter. The pH is 3.64, and the RS is a bone dry 0.6 grams per liter. All right. So I mentioned the foot treading. The Esperam YouTube channel has a video about this wine with a short section showing that. They have a lot of videos for all their brands, so you should check them out. I link to it in the description. Also, Minash refers to the five springs in the vineyard that supplies the water to the grapes for this wine. Minash, or Minas, however you want to pronounce it, not sure which way is correct. Well, Google Translate says Minash, but, or sorry, Google Translate says the first way, but in their video, their head winemaker, Zé Luis, pronounces it the second way, Minash. So I'm trying to stick with that pronunciation. Anyway, Google Translate translates or says that Minash means mines. All right, so let's get into this wine. So when I wrote the script and I was talking about the sativa, I messed up and I had sativa in one line and stavia on the other. So I had to like stop and then go through and make sure I got the right one. All righty. By the way, uh, well, this is the last, this is the last uh, review of the session I'm doing. And, you know, I'm not drinking, I'm studying. Just had to throw that in there. All right, so I would call this, you know, a, a medium plus concentration, or well, a medium concentration of color. It's a little bit of purple, but it's mostly a red to ruby color, and it's pretty consistent throughout. We've got, you know, medium ice in the glass, and as far as tearing, 
I'd call that medium. All right, so let's check out the nose. So I'm calling it medium plus aromatics. I can I can smell it, you know, pretty far up the glass or above the glass. It's something youthful. Yeah, there's a lot of it's really fruit forward. Um, we've got a lot of red fruit, a lot of raspberry to this. It is mostly a red fruited wine, and raspberry is the dominant uh, aroma on this. Okay. I feel like it's, I, mean, I feel like the alcohol is evaporating pretty heavily on this, but it's only 13% alcohol. There's a little bit of um, rusticity to this, a little bit of bramble, touch of chocolate and cocoa, kind of a chocolate covered raspberry. All right, so let's just check it out. So, the last wine I liken to drinking unfortified port wine, okay? You know, regular wine, tastes like port. This one has a similar similarity to it, but there's a smoothness to it. It's a little bit silkier, a little bit smoother. I feel like it's a little more refined. I mean, the nose is pretty much raspberry. I get the raspberry. I also get a little cranberry. I get a little cinnamon which is usually associated with wood, you know, with oak aging. There's nothing mentioned about oak aging on this. So I would imagine there is no oak aging on this. It's probably all, you know, either stainless steel. I think it is all stainless steel. If not, it's concrete. But a little bit of chocolate to it. Chocolate raspberry. A little bit of, a little bit of cherry. A little bit of kind of a sour cherry, actually. A little bit of blackberry. But it, it's characterized more by the, not by the flavors and the aromas, but more by the, the mouthfeel. It's a little bit broader. It's a little bit silkier, a little more elegant in, in all that. And it, it's integrated with the flavors. The, the flavors are more pleasant. Not, I'm not saying that last wine was harsh, but this one is smoother, if in a, effectively a side-by-side. -side. So I talked about how I could smell the alcohol on the palate it's really well integrated. Like, I don't feel like it's a strong wine. Tannin is, you know, medium plus. All the wines are at least a medium plus I, I did tonight with the, with the red wines. A couple of them were more of a high. This one's back down to a little bit more of a medium plus. The city is really good. Uh, it's not super acidic, but it, it's there. It's noticeable. I think today it's just been hypersensitive to acid because I can, well, acid is like medium plus, And then it's like, you know, five five grams per liter or five and a half grams per liter and the pH is like 3.65. I'm like, no, that's not a high acid wine nor high intens intensity of acid wine. But today I really am tasting the acid a lot, but I think it's well balanced. I think I'm not saying that the other wines that I tasted tonight were not well balanced, but I think of the wines I tasted tonight, I think this is the most balanced to it. The finish is, you know, medium plus. The complexity, I would call it medium complexity. Um, I'm not hitting every single checkbox on the Quartermaster Sommelier's grid. It's just kind of whatever comes to mind. I like the wine a lot. I think this wine is a wine that I would have a little more serious dinner where with some of the other wines is kind of like, you know, pizza, burgers. This one I could have with a steak or some other richer food that I would like to sit back and enjoy the wine. You know, was it 24 bucks? So, I mean, this is not, I mean, it's not a value wine. And I know for a lot of people, $20 is expensive when it comes to wine. I would not really consider this too expensive a wine, but I think it's well priced, especially coming from Portugal. I think this could be, if it was coming from somewhere else, I think it'd be a 30 or $35 bottle of wine. I like this one a lot. It, it's kind of my favorite of the set that I did today. It's the last wine of the night. I'm going to swallow the rest. All right. You know what? I like the wine. If you find this on the shelf somewhere, you see it in a restaurant, I say buy it. Seriously. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the wine or for the show too. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and then tell your friends. And until next time, drink some cool Portuguese wine. And I'm so excited that I'm done. 
mostly done with recording all of these episodes, even though there's more wines for you to watch. I've already recorded those episodes. I have a couple more to record though, but I'm, I'm done with my, my major set of, of uh, videos. So this is probably sometime in 2022 you're watching it. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm just excited that I, I got all of them done finally. So yes, until next time, have some really cool wine. Peace.